Hello, my name is Carol Goodman. I'm the consultant nurse at the Scottish Photodynamic Therapy Centre in Dundee. And today I'm going to talk to you about daylight photodynamic therapy for actinic keratosis. The patients that we see at the centre for daylight photodynamic therapy have mild to moderately thick actinic keratosis. This usually presents in larger field areas. So the head, the face, the arms and hands. Actinic keratosis is caused by sun damage earlier in life. It can cause these changes on the skin, which can lead to skin cancer. We use this treatment to try and prevent the skin cancer. The first thing we need to do is apply sunscreen to prevent further damage. Then we prepare the surface using curatage, apply our pro-drug, in this case Amaluz and Metvix, and then send the patients out to enjoy themselves in the sunshine in Dundee. We send out appointment letters to the patient and this includes the information sheet explaining what daylight photodynamic therapy is and it provides them with instructions to apply Vaseline to the field areas or lesions three days before they come to the clinic for the treatment. On the day of the appointment we invite the patients in, confirm their ID and discuss the protocol for PDT with them. We describe how we're going to use sun protection factor 50. After 15 minutes, we will then use a little curatage device which we show them. That will be used to scrape the areas just really to enable the cream to be absorbed into the areas of AK. The application of the pro drug will either be Amaluz or Metvix, and this is chosen randomly before the appointment and then we will describe how it works in line with the patient information sheet explaining that when they go outside after 45 minutes the cream will then react to the red wavelength light in the daylight and this will cause the pro drug to work and produce uh, cell death which is exactly what we want to happen in the skin areas to prevent actinic keratosis developing into skin cancer. We explained to the patients that after we've applied the Metvix or Amaluz pro-drug, that they should get home or wherever they're going to be to remain outside within 45 minutes of this being applied. They should then remain in daylight outside for two and a half hours. And they can be sitting outside, walking, gardening, um, or, if they feel that it's cold, they could come into their conservatory or sit by a window and add an extra 30 minutes onto the treatment time, making it three hours. We advise them what to do if the weather is poor. Again, they would add on 30 minutes to the time, making it three hours again. But if they find that it starts to rain within half an hour of them starting their outdoor treatment, we would then ask them to come back in and we would retreat them. We have a little hobo or light meter that we put on their outer garment up at the shoulder and that enables us to monitor the amount of light that they would have probably had exposure to. There are possible side effects with daylight PDT. Patients can have uh, the effect of a sunburn, so we tell them either to use paracetamol for that or cool the skin. It might be painful or itchy, which can persist after the treatment and after a few weeks they'll find that the inflammation that they have may scab, but that resolves, leaving a good cosmetic reaction. We reinforce the uh, aftercare. So after their two and a half hours, they should go away from bright outdoor and indoor light until the next day. We advise them to gently wash the area to remove the drug. And in the evening, if they have a treatment on their head and neck, that they should use some extra pillows just to help drainage. We give them the contact details and name nurses and the out of hours contact details too. In the patient's notes there will be detail of the areas that the doctor has decided the patient has to have treated and we check that they match those and mark them up on our body map sheets. We compare if photographs are available at clinic or arrange photographs to make sure that the areas that the doctor has asked for us to treat match the areas on the patient and we discuss them with the patient to see if they agree. We are now able to use the WAPA system in the clinic 
where the patients can look at their own photographs too. The patients are then happy to go ahead and we've answered all their questions. We get them to sign the informed consent sheet. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. We use the sun protection supplied by La Roche-Posay, it's a 50 plus, and we apply it to all the exposed areas. So even if they were having treatment just on the head, we would apply it to the ears, the face, the hands, and any area that did not have clothing on it. It's really important to do this because we don't want to add to the damage the patient already has. After 15 minutes, to allow the sun protection to be absorbed, we then start to prepare the area by scraping gently to remove any crusting. This just enables the uh, prodrug to be absorbed better into the skin. We then apply the prodrug. As I said to you earlier, it will either be Metvix or Amaloose, and this is decided before the patient comes in, and that patient will then continue to have that particular application on all their appointments. We reinforce with them that they have to be outside for two and a half hours and exposure within 45 minutes of us putting on the cream. I talked to you earlier on about the Hobo device, which is a light data logger. It's a little light meter that we place in front of the chest and we reinforce the positioning of this with the patients, ensuring that this is always put on the shoulder chest area and on the outer garment that they're wearing when they're sitting in the garden or walking. We give them away a treatment record sheet and a stamp addressed envelope and that really enables them to return both their questionnaire which I'll show you later on and the little hobo device so we can put all the data into our systems. So here is an example of the paperwork that we use. Again you can see here the areas that we've listed for the patient and then we would look at, for the next treatment that they come for, how the outcome was from the treatment previous. Um, if they come again, obviously we reconsent them, so we have a continuing consent policy. Um, we always get the prodrug checked by a technician or a nurse, so there'll be two people that check that it's the correct drug. And we note down the number of tubes that we use, um, and also what the weather was like on the day that we applied the treatment. We confirm whether or not we have to take some more photographs, obviously that we applied the sunscreen and which particular pro-drug we did apply and the time of that. The hobo device, the serial number of that is also listed on this sheet, so it's quite uh, detailed data. So this is the patient treatment record sheet that they take away with them uh, along with the hobo and the stamp addressed envelope. We ask them to fill in what time they started their treatment and we would expect this to be 45 minutes after we applied the cream. Then we ask them what time of the day they finished the treatment and again we would expect this to be around two and a half hours. Uh, we then ask where the treatment was performed, in this case it was the garden. Did you have the treatment indoors at any point, sitting by a window or conservatory? This patient said no. And was your treatment interrupted by rain or was it cold? Um, and the answer to this was not applicable because it was no. We have a pain scale, so zero is no pain to 10 being the worst pain they've ever experienced. And most patients usually record either zero or low pain levels. A bit of discomfort is usually what they describe. Then a few days after the treatment, we asked them to fill in the sort of inflammation. Did it become red after treatment? And if so, was it mild, moderate or severe? How long it lasted for? Was the area swollen after treatment? Again, was it mild, moderate or severe? And how long that lasted for? And was the area crusted after the treatment and the redness? Was that mild, moderate or severe? And we would expect all of these things to happen because this is a treatment that does produce inflammation. So in summary, we apply the sunscreen factor 50 plus, prepare the surface area with curatage, then apply one of the pro drugs, either Metvix or Amaloose, and send the patient out to enjoy themselves in the daylight and sunlight 45 minutes later for two hours and 30 minutes. We would like to thank to our fabulous team, led by Professor Sally Ibbotson, our clinical director.